I get asked all the time, hey Ty, what's the one best piece of advice you've ever gotten in life? And, you know, it's hard to narrow down, but I remember back when I was 19 years old and Alan Nation said to me, he said, Ty, the secret to life is to ignore 99 out of 100 people, but when you find that one out of 100, to listen to everything they say. And that, I'm pretty sure, is the best piece of advice anybody's ever given me. And here's why. In the world we live in where there's the paradox of choice, so much choice that people get paralyzed and don't even know what the right decision to make, also along with that is the paradox of too much advice. Man, if you're not careful, everybody and their brother is going to be throwing in their two cents. It reminds me of the Aesop fable where there's a father and a son, and they're riding a donkey into town. And as they're going, some people walk by, and they say, what kind of father and son are so cruel to animals that they force this donkey to carry both of them? So they feel bad, and the father gets off, and the son is riding, and they go a little further, and some people walk by and go, what kind of disrespectful son makes his father walk? So the son gets off, and the father gets on the donkey. They go a little further, and some people walk by and go, you know, what kind of a horrible father makes the son walk? So the father feels bad. He gets off. They go a little bit further, and they, uh, at the end of the story, go into the town, and the father and son are carrying the donkey. The moral of that story was you can't please all the people all the time. And I would add the other moral is you can't listen to all the people all the time. You know, I'll give you a practical example that was very important, key turning point in my life. I was young and I was trying to decide if I wanted to go to college. And I was asking everybody's opinion, you know, should I go to college? And some people were absolutely yes, college is the most important thing for you, but you'll have respect in this and if you want it. And, you know, some people were saying, no, you don't need to go to college. And I really was confused, right? There was good cases for both sides. But I decided to go back to Alan Nation because he had given me that advice to just find the one out of 100 and listen to everything they said. And I went to him and he said, Ty, why do you want to go to college? And I said, well, you know, people say I'll have respect, I'll have a diploma. And I'll never forget what he said. He turned to me and he said, Ty, this is America. Make a million dollars, then everybody will respect you. So I followed his advice. I went out and became an entrepreneur and tried to make you know, my way in the world. And I look back and I'm very thankful that I uh, took that advice. I don't think that everybody should not drop out of college. That's not my, the point of this story. The point of this story is he knew me well. He knew my strengths. He knew my situation. And by just listening to that one person, and he was a trustworthy person. He had proven to have great advice, knowledgeable. I was able to make a strong choice in life. So wherever you are, if whether you're an advanced business guy, just starting out, the biggest danger to you is too much information. Just think about books. Even with books, as much as I love books, you have to be careful with books. There's 125 million published books in the world. If you're not careful, you'll find a book you know, that's on one side and a book that's on the other. You'll walk away confused. I have a book called The Wisdom of Crowds, and I have another book on a shelf called The Folly of Crowds, basically saying it's opposite points. So who do you listen to? So the crux of the matter is how good are you at discerning who you should listen to? And here's my advice that I follow for my life. Only listen to people who have three criteria. Number one, who have tremendous skill in whatever area you're asking them for expertise in. Number two, have tremendous experience, at least 10 to 20 years minimum, okay? And number three, who have, the, have your best interest at heart. As Charlie Munger says, you know, never ask a salesman his advice on buying his own product. So let me give you a practical example where this becomes obvious. Let's say you had heart problems. You go to the hospital and you need heart surgery. You're going to walk into that hospital and you're going to ignore 99 out of 100 people. You're not even going to ask for their advice. You're not going to ask the valet at the hospital, hey, what's your opinion on my heart situation? Because he doesn't have experience, he doesn't have skill, and he doesn't have your interest at heart. He's not a doctor. So he fails the test. Don't even ask him. When you walk in, you're not going to ask the nurse. You're not going to ask the receptionist. You want the doctor. 
He's got the most expertise. He's got the most uh, experience. And he's got your best interests at heart, right? You, when you just lay there on that, on that table, that's who you want working on you. And in the same way, I don't care what point you are in life, you got to make a decision. Find somebody, just one. Stop asking everybody because the more I ask often, the more confused I am. But that one person, make sure they got 20 years experience in specifically what you're asking about. Make sure they're aligned with your best interest. And thirdly, make sure that they have tremendous skill in that area. So I hope that's been helpful. These are my mentor tips of the day. These are a little different. You're probably also on my email uh, book of the day. Those are a little longer. These are things to motivate you for today. So let me know what you think. Leave a, your comments, whether you agree. Leave me also what's the best tip you've ever gotten. If you could leave me that on this page, I'd love it. And uh, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow.